been a long morning. Everybody still here? Um, after hearing the last 10 or so presentations, I realized that what I'll be sharing with you uh, now is going to have a different slant, a slightly different perspective. Uh, I'm not an artist. Uh, the National Arts Council is a government body, although many of my colleagues are very talented uh, and passionate artists themselves. But um, what I'll be sharing today uh, provides a different view. I mean, Ria mentioned that the children provide the ingredients and the artists uh, cook uh, the food. Then maybe you can think of us as uh, uh, the pot that holds the food together <laughs> to provide the support uh, for our artists to make work. Okay. So, so very quickly an overview to talk about why the National Arts Council wants to support uh, the development of the young audiences uh, landscape. And, and what our current scene is like in Singapore is really just a very, very brief overview. And what are some of the newer things that we have been working on the last few years and what will we be doing in the next few? Uh, and of course, why are we doing all this for? At the end of the, of, the, of the day, what do we hope to see? And just to caveat that this is only a small part of the work that the Arts Council does, I've just pulled out the relevant portions that I thought might be, might be more interesting to this group today. So why engage young audiences? Thanks, please. First, of course, as we all agreed from the, the discussion yesterday uh, for audience development, uh, through our own uh, research locally in Singapore, we found that uh, arts engagement is three times higher among those who experience art in childhood. What this means is that uh, if uh, you experience the arts as a child, uh, you are actually three times more likely to continue with your arts participation when you grow up. That, that pertains to the Singapore population. And uh, we would also like, uh, because Singapore is such a cosmopolitan place, uh, we are multiracial, just like Malaysia, we really want to expose our young to local works and local artists as early as possible to, to, to sort of inculcate that familiarity and openness to the diversity of cultures that we have in Singapore. And last but not least, in fact, most importantly, uh, equal opportunity that we want to be able to give universal access to every child in Singapore. Thanks. Uh, this pertains uh, very much, uh, our colleagues from the Ministry of Education uh, really like this, um, that the arts is a way to nurture creative thinkers, critical learners uh, for the future. And there is a lot of research done you know, internationally to show how early exposure to the arts can uh, develop some of these uh, softer skills, uh, but very important innovative skills in young children. Next, please. Um, and the third reason, and very important, uh, family bonding. Uh, we found that arts attendance is actually much higher among families with younger children than those with older children. And um, that parents, interestingly, this came out of the research, uh, they see arts engagement as a means for stress relief. We said, do you mean that it's, um, it relieves the stress of your child? They said, no, no, it relieves stress for me. <laughs> uh, and it's a way for them to spend time uh, with their children. And, and we see that as being quite beneficial, that if we develop uh, the theatre for young audiences uh, seen in Singapore, that then you'll be able to also involve the families. Um, so, What's the scene like in Singapore today? This is really a snapshot. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the NEC is a government agency, so we don't make the art, the artists do. So what we do is really to provide the environment, to provide access, to invest in artist development, as well as in the infrastructure, both hard and soft. Um, yesterday I mentioned a little bit also that we look at it uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as a broad canvas in which we look at arts in schools where we have uh, broad-based exposure programs where we subsidize uh, the cost of uh, arts programs for schools to purchase and we also have um, sort of more in-depth uh, schemes where uh, we bring artists to schools for three or four months for residency programs where the children have a longer interaction time with these artists teaching through the art excuse me, Teaching Through the Arts uh, is a small program where it's arts integration, where we bring in a teaching artist to work with a math or science teacher to, to bring a, a to teach a math through drama or to teach science through movement, uh, just to give the children a, a sense of, especially for children who learn in different ways, you know, not always sitting behind a desk in front of a, 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 a whiteboard. Um, this gives them a different way to experience learning uh, and also uh, the arts for children at risk. Uh, for young people from difficult backgrounds, uh, the teaching artist works with the counsellor uh, to, to deliver an arts program. Thanks, please. Um, and outside of school, um, two large groups. I mean, we have ex very established platforms, fest smaller, small festivals, and platforms like Kids Fest, Ace Festival. Um, these are gaining popularity amongst the Singaporeans. 
uh, back home. Uh, but they present uh, mainly Western narratives, uh, quite text-based, uh, and uh, all international presented works. Um, and, and locally, um, we see a, a growing number of uh, practitioners who are making a new work that are relevant to our cultural context. So these are just some examples here. Um, you may recognize some of our, our colleagues. Next, please. Some of the new things uh, that we've been doing the last few years. Next, please. Again, you know, looking at the school scene, uh, we're trying to see how we can bring more arts programs uh, to children at an even earlier age. Uh, and so uh, we have extended uh, the arts education program that I mentioned earlier to preschools. So these are children from age four, up, four to six before they start formal education. Next, please. These are some examples of the programs. These programs either uh, go to the school so the artists actually go to the school and present a work to them, or the school takes them out to watch a performance or attend an exhibition. Next, please. Some feedback, you can read it up on the website later on. Next, please. Um, and also, in all of our programming that's supported by NEC, we try to encourage more family-friendly programming. So be it the Writers' Festival, or be it um, a, a little arts carnival in the neighborhood, we try to make sure that there's uh, more family programming within the, the, the repertoire. Um, and we also present works, uh, support works that can be presented at more unconventional public spaces like libraries, community centers, and so on. So the idea is to bring the arts to the children. Next, please. Uh, very importantly, uh, and we take this role very seriously, is in the development of our artists. Um, so um, for the artists who want to work in the preschool setting, we support a program uh, to, to, to give them skills in pedagogy. Uh, and I mentioned yesterday about mentorship with practitioners in, uh, at home as well as um, once a year we do invite international training partners as well. Uh, and this one, uh, and it's not just about the learning and the training for the artists, I think the building of the community of practitioners, especially in TYA in Singapore, is important. And so we've, we've also uh, supported artists and arts groups to present quarterly dialogues and workshops where we invite uh, uh, experts and like-minded practitioners from overseas to come and network and exchange. Um, and also we support our artists overseas. Um, I think some of my colleagues were here two years ago in Okinawa and uh, also the Asatesh Korea Winter Festival uh, last year. Okay. <laughs> we introduced a new award uh, uh, this year to, to recognize excellence in theatre for the young. Um, and this is something that we we see as being very important uh, in recognizing this as a profession. Um, I would like to actually talk about this, if that's okay, in 30 seconds. I can skip this. One of the new things uh, that we're doing uh, in the coming year is a, to, to has been a, a dedicated children's art center in Singapore. We've never had something like this before. And the idea is that for every child, just as how uh, going to the science center, to the zoo, will be part of their growing up years and part of their childhood memories, we hope that this center will be, will be uh, like that for them, but for the arts, uh, to be multidisciplinary and, and, and provide age-appropriate works that are presented, uh, a, a one-stop uh, venue for families where they can enjoy and experience and discover the arts. Um, and for the artists as well, we hope that this will be an incubation space for them to create new work uh, in Singapore, uh, where uh, uh, for them to experiment and to develop works that are relevant to our, our, our context. Um, okay. Next. At the end of the day, we really hope to see that the arts becomes a part of every child's life in Singapore. Thank you. <laughs>